Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to put together a cool little website that looks just like this one. Now I'm going to be taking you uh, step by step through this whole process, through everything, you know, from uh, getting your website domain to installing your hosting to installing WordPress and then showing you how to put up posts, pages, featured images, all that stuff. So. If you guys just spend uh, 20 minutes with me, I'll show you how I put this site up and I'll show you how you can have the same site of your guys' own to have for yourself. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is get your website hosting. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to my website which is createwpsite.com and this is where we're going to be uh, picking up the coupon so you guys can get the discount for the hosting so once you land on my website right here just go up to special deals and right here is what we're looking for the GoDaddy coupon click view this offer and this is just going to apply when you get here to click uh, the economy and um, this is just going to apply a coupon code once you get into this it's going to give you like I said it's going to knock the price down um, you know huge over you know 80 percent probably on the year so now this video is going to cut to another video that i made before which is going to be showing you how to pick your domain name um install wordpress and all that stuff then we're going to come back to when it's time to actually build the actual blog and then i'm going to take back over and we will we'll continue from there so see you guys in a minute okay now pick your domain name just whatever domain name you want something that's going to be relevant to whatever your website's going to be about. I'm just going to do this one real quick. Okay, Finance and Solutions is available. Click Add to Continue. Okay, and then after you did that, you land on this page right here. And this is just going to show you your total. And uh, since you click that link, it automatically applied this promotional code. And just to show you, we'll remove it, 1218. If you don't have that, it's back up to 60 bucks. So put that code, I'm going to put that code back in for sure. And then I'm going to go here and I'm just going to go to proceed to checkout. Okay, and um, I'm going to sign up as a new customer. Okay, so I just entered all my information in. It's going to be blurred out for obvious reasons, but. Um, when you get the account information right here, email address, username, password, make sure you write all that stuff down or uh, just make a note of it somewhere, even though I'm pretty sure they're going to give it to you anyways. And uh, the next thing you need to do is go down to payment information and pay however you want. I'm going to choose PayPal. Okay, and then after you pay, you're going to land on your uh, confirmation page. And um, all you're going to do is, if everything looks right, 1218 should be your total. Click I agree, and then place your order. And um, that's it. You now have website hosting. Okay, now before we go and install WordPress, first I want you to go up here and go to Manage My Domains. And we're going to verify our email. we got to do that before we can do anything. So just uh, come right here, click Verify Email. Now check your email and there should be some type of message there. Okay, so I'm going to go check my email now. Okay, and if you, uh, you can see right here it says Action Required verify your email okay now that's it your uh, account is verified now we're gonna click here go to my account and we're gonna set up WordPress and you can just you can do this if you want or you can just skip it I'm just gonna click no thanks okay so when we get on this page we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to web hosting and click manage and right where it says new cPanel, click setup. 
Now you can select from your domain. It's already selected. I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a, a username and a password. Okay, now after you do that, make sure you make some kind of note of that and then click finish. Now we're going to click get started. Okay, now you should be in your cPanel and to install WordPress, we're just going to scroll down here to web applications and click WordPress. Okay, then come right here and hit install this application. Okay, now when it gets to this part, we're just going to leave it blank. So anytime anybody goes to this link, they'll land on your page. Scroll down here. This stuff should be all figured out for you right here. I'm going to click install. Okay, and then you'll land on this page after you're done. And um, if you ever need to uh, edit your password or, you know, any of those type of things, you can go here, view edit details. It'll give you all your stuff right here. You can edit all that. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click this one that says uh, backslash WordPress admin. All right, guys, so I'm back and you guys should be on a similar page. It looks just like this. This is your WordPress dashboard. You guys should now have uh, your WordPress installed and your hosting installed. So the first thing we're going to do is once you get on this page, I'm just going to right click uh, this up here. It says my blog and visit the site just to show you what the guy with the uh site looks like before we do anything so as you can see pretty blank but we're gonna change that soon and we're gonna start putting some content up so let's get started alright so guys the first thing we're gonna do is I'm back on my dashboard page we're gonna come over here to appearance and we're going to install the theme for this website okay we're just gonna come up here to add new and we're going to and as you can see too this feature and if you click popular uh, you're gonna see there's tons of other themes too so you guys don't have to use this theme or what you can do too this is what I usually recommend to people is use this theme build it the way um, that I'm gonna show you in this video and then after you're done you can always come here uh, download and you can uh, install a new theme or preview it and if you like it better than the theme that um, I'm using for the example in this video then you can just um, use that instead. But for this theme, we're going to be using the Kyoshi theme. Just going to click install and then activate. And like I said, too, you can always click live preview just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. But it's not going to look like much unless you until you start to have some content up. So I'm going to click activate. Okay, now that's up. And let's just take a look at what it looks like. Again, pretty bland. There's the generic Hello World first blog post, but we're going to switch it up and let's start making it look better. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do since we installed that theme is we're going to come down here to settings and then go to general. And then this is where we're going to rename, as you can see right there, it says my blog. Yours might say something different, but we're going to switch it to... Um, a custom title for whatever's going to fit our website. So whatever your uh, website is, whatever you want the name, um, just put it in right here. And um, you can also add a tagline too. But for my example, I'm just going to go with this. And then I'm going to have my tagline is going to be this. Okay, and like I said, whatever you guys want to do for that. And after you're done, just scroll down here to here and click Save Changes. And now we can move on to the next step. Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to Post and click Add New. Actually, we're just going to click Post. And now here's the generic um, stock Posts that come with that comes with WordPress every time you install it. So you can just click this, move to trash, get rid of that because we don't need that post anymore. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to create about mm, five to ten new posts, 
and I'm going to create the first one here just to show you guys how exactly I do this. I got some example text right here too. Now I'm just using example text to uh, just give you guys an idea of how it's going to look. You guys are going to actual, actually want to put real content in. And then over here under the categories, you guys can add, you don't have to do this, but for this example, I'm just going to add the category gaming, obviously, because my site is basic gameplay tips, tricks, and tactics. And then, um, you know, so if you guys had a weight loss website, you could put diet right there or, you know, you get the idea. And then um, after that, we're going to click uh, here, set featured image. All right, then when you get to this page, you're just going to want to come over here and go to upload files. And I got my first featured image right here. Now, um, when you're setting a featured image, you want to try to keep the picture, uh, try to keep it a fairly large image, you know, not something too small because it's fine if it's bigger because WordPress will just scale it down for you anyway. So after this, click set featured image. As you can see, it's right there. And now I'm going to click publish. And let's just see how the site looks so far with that first. Okay, as you can see, you got the first uh, post right there. It still looks a little weird, but wait till we um, start adding in the other posts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in about six to six to ten other posts, and then I'm going to come back and we can continue on with the next steps. All right, guys, I'm here and I just um, getting ready to finish up my last post. I just uploaded my last featured Im image, and I'm going to click publish. Now we can take a look at the site and see how it looks. Here we go, much better. See, as you see, as you can see, once you start um, adding in, you know, your content, your posts, your featured image, it starts to fill out. Um, you know, it just starts to fill out a lot and makes the site look, you know, twenty times better than any other regular site you just install without putting any content up. All right, so now we can move on to the next step. Okay guys, now that we got some posts up, we can move on to the next thing, and that's going to be adding in some pages for the site. Um, again, this is just the example that they give you when they install it. You can just move that to the trash. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating three main pages, and then probably about five to six other regular pages for the site but the three main pages I'm going to create is the about us the privacy policy and the contact us page now everybody should have those pages on their website Google likes them and um, you know it's just better and makes your site look more professional if you have those uh, pages up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them in and then on on each page I'm going to be sending I'm going to have a link that you can click that's going to show you how to create the contact page, the uh privacy policy page and the about us page. So, let me do that real quick. I'll show you what I'm talking about and then I'll come back and I'll explain exactly what I was just talking about. Okay guys, I'm back and uh as you can see I got the pages right here ready to go and there's a link in each one of them so I'm just going to publish this publish this and then publish this I'm going to come back here to privacy policy we're going to view this page now this is what I was talking about right here if you scroll down you'll see it says learn to make a privacy policy page here and if you click this link it's going to send you here to this page and uh, this is going to show you how to get a free privacy policy page uh, for your website, uh, this is just to help people who don't know how to do this. Most people don't know how to do this. And if you scroll down and you just click Start Now, they can they make it super easy. You can get um, a page within you know 30 seconds. Like I said, and it's all for free. That's going to be the same thing here. If you go to the About page, which I'll show you right here. If you go to yeah, click right here to the About Us page it's going to be and scroll down it's going to be the same thing alright guys so I just finished in uh, adding the rest of my pages right here so you can see I added a couple more in I also wanted to go back to posts because I want to show you guys something before we end this video I'm just gonna to go to this example um, now see when you have all your content right here and you wanna add in uh, a video or put a picture or something like that it's the same 
thing as adding in a featured image. You go to upload your files, you click your file, and then you click insert into post, and then it's just going to put there, put it right in the post. And then if you click on it while well, it's in here, you can put it to the left, you can put it to the center, you can put it to the right. And if you click this right here, you got some more options. I just want to show you guys that before you get into it and go, how do I put a page or how do I put a photo in here and how do I move it, all that. Now you know. So let's just come over here and take a quick look at the site again. And as you can see, I just added in there's all the pages right there. So that's all where all your pages are going to show up. Okay, guys, it's uh, kind of crazy, but um, this video is actually coming to an end. As you can see, we got our all our content up right here. Well, this is just example stuff. You guys are going to want to you guys are going to want to put the real stuff up there. Uh, hopefully, stuff that um, all your readers like. And uh, yeah, like I said before. Um, you know, you don't have to know anything about, you know, building websites or anything like that to get a website up like this. Um, you know, as long as you just follow my directions and uh, do everything I do. And, um, you know, again, if you have any uh, questions or comments, you can always just leave me one in the section below this video. So um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And, um, be on the lookout for some more videos I make for some different themes and um, I hope you guys can I uh, you know jump on this and get your site up running 10 20 minutes it literally is that fast if you just sit down follow the steps like I said and uh, you know just take care of business so all right I will talk to you guys later and enjoy your new website